Hi everyone, it's Jen again. And today we're gonna to talk about the parts of a plant that we eat. First, I have a question. What color is Earth? If we traveled in a rocket and went up into space and looked down at Earth, what would you see? That's right, planet Earth is green and blue. Do you know what makes up the green part? A lot of farms, forests, jungles, which are full of plants which is why that part looks all green from a distance. Plants are very important to both planet Earth and to us. You may have seen lots of fruits and vegetables in the store, but you may not have thought about how they all started as a plant. When you look at a plant, what do you see? There's a top part, a middle part, and a part underground. Parts that are above the ground are things like stem, leaves, and flowers. Parts that are underground are called the roots. Even though you can't see it, a really important part of the plant is beneath the ground. That's called the root. Each part of the plant does an important job for the whole plant. The stem is the strong middle part of the plant. Out of the stem is where the leaves and the flowers grow. The trunk or core of the plant is called the stem. Just like the stem, our trunk, or core, helps us stand up straight and tall. Leaves grow out of the plant and are usually flat, but can come in different shapes and sizes too. Leaves do the important job of making energy. Plant veins are just like our veins. They bring nutrients throughout the plant so that they can grow tall and strong just like us. The flower is usually the colorful part of the plant. The fruit can grow from the flower or from the stem. Now, can you think of some examples of fruits that grow from stems? And what about apples, pears, peaches? We know that these are fruits because they also have seeds. Anything with the seed is classified as a fruit, even an avocado or tomato, which may come as a surprise to you. The roots are kind of like the stakes in a tent. They help keep the plant from getting blown away in the wind much like stakes help tents from blowing away in the wind. They also help to get the water from the ground into the rest of the plant, like a giant straw, and sometimes store energy for the plant as well. Let's summarize. Do you remember the different parts of the plant? Stem, leaves, flower, fruit, roots, and seeds. So what are some fruit or vegetables that look like a stem? Remember. Stems are strong and keep the plant nice and tall. Foods like asparagus or celery are stems that we eat. What are some vegetables we eat that kind of look like leaves? Now remember, the leaves are flat and soft and sometimes green. Lettuce, spinach, and arugula are some examples of leaves that we eat. Now, what's an example of a food we eat that is a flower? Hmm may sound weird, but there are certain foods we eat that don't really look like a rose or a daisy, but they are flowers of the plant. This one's kind of hard. Well, broccoli, cauliflower, and artichokes are all flowers of the plants. Those are things that we eat. Now, what is an example of a food we eat that is a fruit? This one's probably a little easier. Apples, oranges, bananas, those are all fruits I'm sure you can name a lot more, too. Now, can you think of a fruit that's not very sweet? Remember, they have seeds. Tomatoes, peppers and cucumbers, and pumpkins are all fruits too, even though they're not sweet, because they have seeds. What are some of the foods that are parts of the roots? They store a lot of energy, so they can be heavy. Can you think of a heavy vegetable? Potatoes, onions, and carrots are all vegetables that come from a plant's root. So now you know all the different parts of the plants that we eat. Remember, eating plants is very good, both for you and for the planet. Eating the different parts of the plant can make it fun to eat different fruits and vegetables. Next time you eat a fruit or vegetable, think about what part of the plant you're eating. Thanks, everyone.